Hello and welcome to solve uh, the solution to my um, arithmetic problem trying to find a four digit number with the two first digit the same, the two, two last digit the same and which is a perfect square. Um, I'm going to write this number this way like the first digit is A, the, of course it's the same as the second digit the third digit is B and the fourth digit is also B so A and B are numbers from zero to nine, actually A is not zero um, so, we know that this is a perfect square, but we're not going to use it right away. The solution, there are many ways to solve this problem, but one uh, easy way is to say that this number is actually this. A number that I'm going to call A0, B0, plus a number called A0, B. If you add up this, is going to work and make this number. The second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to write this equation because this is that number multiplied by 10. So it's A0B multiplied by 10 plus A0B. So we have of course a common factor. So it's a zero B multiplied by ten plus one. In other words, A zero B multiplied by eleven. And if we want this to be a perfect square, since we have eleven here, which is a prime number, this has to be a, a multiple of eleven. We're going to make a short break, and I'll be back after that. Okay, the break is over. And um, so, to find this number, we have to find this number, which is A0B, which is a multiple of 11. So we need a list of multiples of 11, which have uh, zero in between. Okay, uh, to find this, we don't need any calculator, because we know that if you have a two-digit number, let's say um, 20, 25, if we multiply it by 11, we just have to add 2 and 5 and put it in between. So 2 and 5 makes 7, and this is the answer. If we want a 0 here, we need that those two digits, when you make the sum, makes 10. So we start with the smallest one, which is 19. And it's going to work. So we have the list here. 200, 209 is 19 by 11. 308 is 20. Oh, 209. You're going to tell me. But 19, well, I'm going to explain you this if you don't know it already. You have um, 19. You have, uh, as, I, I, as I told you, you have to add up those two numbers to, to multiply it by 11. But when you add 9, and 1, so you have 1, 9, and if you make the sum, you have 10, and actually that's the way it works. You have to add up, of course you have the 1, and 1 by 1 makes 2, and that's why you have 209, and that's why it disappeared, the 1 disappeared and changed into a 2. And very easily, we can get this list with 20, and uh, you can see that the progression is kind of easy, 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's it. Nothing further because after you done, you get uh, to something bigger than 1,000, which is a four-digit four digit number. So here's the list. So we have a zero. Oh, sorry, a zero b multiplied by 11. So this a zero b is a perfect square. Oh, here. Yeah. This a zero b is a perfect square, which means that we have this A0B should be A0B by 11 is a perfect square. Oh my god. Ooh. So, so we're here. A0B should be something 11 multiplied by something multiplied by this 11. So, this something, for everything to be a perfect square, this something is also a square. So, let's check it out. 
19 is not a square, 28 is not a square, 37 is not a square, 46 is not a square, 55 is not a square, 64 is a square, 73 is not, 82 is not a square. So in other words, our A0B is 704, which means A is 7 and B is 4, which means that the number we're looking from the beginning is 7744. This is a perfect square. This is the square of an integer. Check it out. Take its square root and you're going to see that I'm right. Now you can use your, com your computer or your calculator to see that this is a perfect square and there's, there are no other that are on, on this shape. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this problem and um, see you next time for the for next problem. Bye-bye.